last spoke to me. What did he say? He said, I've given you land, I've given you farmers. Do the math. He said, do the math. He wants us to save this little church by making the land into a farm. I received uh, a call about the script and got the script over Labor Day weekend. And I was actually talking to my husband about uh, finding a project that was more on the uplifting side prior to that. And then I got the call about the script. So it kind of fell from the sky in that regard. Look back where we started. I want to show you something. We are not where we started. We're somewhere completely new. I play Amy Spurlock. Uh, I'm married to Michael Spurlock. We play the real life characters. Uh, the, he plays the minister and I'm his wife and who took over the, the All Saints Church in the story. And I leave my well-paying job to support my husband in, in our endeavor to what we think is selling the church and selling the land to eventually helping to save the church. We have 15 new family, not enough food for the children. Well, here's the thing, Yi Wen. We're closing the church. We're broke. Well, what is broke? The fact that it's based on a true story of these refugees who've been re relocated here, resettled here in Tennessee, who've escaped uh, genocide and war and persecution and come to a place where they don't know anybody, nothing, the language. And meeting a, a congregation, people who, who are not quite open at first, and how these people change their minds. So I was really attracted to the idea of the idea that you can change your mind by being open and it being exposed to perhaps people you're maybe afraid of or you have no experience with. And I think it's really important in today's context where we live in such a fear-based society right now with the 24-hour news cycles that we look at people, we hear about people uh, in other parts of the world and we label them. And that actually when people come together and are just human beings together, so many good, good things can happen if we have an open mind and an open heart about it. We had a garden, very good ground and all things. What do you think will happen to them when we leave? Let's keep them in our prayers and ask for God's help. Aren't you God's help?